Hello, my name is Brad Sexton. Today I'm going to talk about um, setting up your OS deployment in, inside BitFix. Uh, I'm a technical advisor for the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, you can scan the QR code to add me on LinkedIn. The next warning we see in our uh, dashboard here is that the, the we don't have any kind of MDT bundle. So the MDT bundle is basically a, a scripted MDT environment, uh, and then we utilize BigFix for that environment. Um, this bundle, uh, I, I recommend having a machine as your uh, bundle creator machine. It's good to have maybe a VM or something of that effect. Um, and then you would install the bundle creator, and then you would generate your bundle on this machine. Um, really, the only time you need to update your bundle is if you have a new uh, version of an OS, such as, you know, Windows 10, uh, 1903, uh, or if the 1909 version comes out, then you would want to recreate and create a 1909 bundle. Um, so we'll click on the Bundle and Media Manager dashboard, and this is going to warn us that we need to activate an analysis. So go ahead and activate that analysis and click Yes. So the first step would be to go to MDT Bundle Creator and Windows Media tab. And here we want to say uh, in, install MDT Bundle Creator. So I'm going to install the ADK10-1903. And I'm going to select my machine that I want to install the bundle on. This is going to take a good 30 to 45 minutes to uh, run. Um, basically, what's going to happen is it's going to install a couple things, PowerShell, uh, the Microsoft ADK. It's going to download that directly from Microsoft, and then uh, the MDT bundle creator. So uh, be patient. This might take a couple minutes, uh, 30 to 45 minutes to complete. So once it's complete, then we can uh, start creating a bundle in our... Once the action completes, you'll notice that the, the bundle is created. It's deployed a couple of components, uh, deployed the Microsoft ADK, uh, MDT, and then the uh, bundle creator software. So now what we can do is remote into that machine, and you should have an ISO file uh, from Microsoft. Um, you can download this from your enterprise site. Where you um, And once you have the ISO file, we, we need to go to the C drive and create a folder called OSD ISO. And then we'll move that ISO file into that folder. Now that now we can go back to our main big uh, main big server and do the console. So there we want to go to system lifecycle, back to uh, setup, and then MDT bundle bundle and media manager. Click on the MDT Bundle Creator in Windows Media. Your uh, machine should populate that we created the, uh, the installed the Bundle Creator on. So the first step would be to select the machine here. Uh, do not select here because it'll open up the machine, but select here at the dead space, and then select the Create MDT Bundle. Once you do that, it's going to ask you want to create both MDT bundle and OS resource. So yes, we want to select that, and then we want to include the folder of the ISOs that we we moved over into that folder in the OST ISO folder. So once you submit that, it's going to create the action and it's going to deploy. This action will take probably 30 uh, minutes as well, uh, and it's going to create your MDT uh, bundle for you. And once that's complete, we'll be able to upload that bundle. Now that the uh, generate bundle action is complete, we will need to upload that bundle. Um, so the first step for that process would be uh, to install the BigFix console on the machine that we uh, generated the bundle on. So the first thing to do in your console is look for the uh, install BigFix console. And we want to take action on the PC that we uh, are generating as our bundle creator machine. And wait for this action to complete, and then we'll remote into the uh, machine that we have generated the bundle on. 
Now that the action is complete to install the console on our bundle creator machine, we'll run a remote into that machine and launch the console. Once the console is loaded, we want to go back to the setup tab in the bundle and media manager. We head over to our MDT bundle creators in Windows Media. And there you'll see our uh, machine that we've created our bundle on. And you'll see some warnings there that the generated bundle has not been uploaded now. So to upload the bundle, we will need to click this green arrow. And this is going to upload the bundle from the target, this current machine. Uh, this is the path that the bundle was created on, so we, we'd use the default, so this is the correct path. And then the bundle name, uh, I like to give it, say, like MDT and then 1.0. Um, and then we'll make this our default because there's nothing else to, uh, there's nothing else uploaded right now. And once we hit finish, this will actually upload the bundle to the console, and then it should take a few minutes and uh, to complete. And 